AI ads can make your work look top tier. Even if you're brand new to this, they're fast, they're low cost, and they instantly upgrade your visuals. I'm Orange's AI, and I break everything down with beginner-friendly tutorials that are simple to follow. If you get value from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's create your first cinematic ad step-by-step. Step. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are at dadgang.co. What I want to do is do an advertisement on the this particular hat. Um, this is really cool because it shows me the sides, it shows me the, the back, and of course it shows me the front. So what we want to do is screenshot each angle of the hat. So perfect. Right here in my downloads folder, I have the front, I have the back, and I have the side. Now I can go ahead and bring this into Google AI Studio or to get to it, you could go to aistudio.google.com. Uh, what this does is it's similar to ChatGPT where it really analyzes uh, images, text, documents, and as it reads, the fastest way from prompt to production with Gemini. We can do it two ways. We can simply just uh, click the try it model or we can simply select uh, try Gemini 3 here and it'll bring us into a new screen where we can simply upload our images that we just downloaded from the uh, website. And I'm going to select them all here. And I'm gonna use a platform, a website rather, called Whisper Flow. Instead of me typing in my prompts, I'm gonna actually talk it. I want you to analyze this brand I want you to give me the vibe, the aesthetic, the target demo, and what they're overall trying to accomplish. And of course, give me the color scheme of the actual brand. We're gonna select run. It's gonna generate for a few minutes. And what this does is it's gonna break down the brand uh, from top to bottom. So that way we can craft prompts that are more accurate to what their mission is. And as you see, Google Studio was able to give us the vibe, modern fatherhood pride, the aesthetic, retro sporty, uh, the target demographic, uh, millennial dads 25 to 40. Uh, what are they trying to accomplish? They are rebranding re the dad hat. Traditionally, a dad hat is a fashion term for a shapeless, unstructural baseball cap. Dad gang is flipping the narrative. Uh, it gives us the brand color scheme. So this is going to be very important to get an idea of what you want your advertisement to look like. And more importantly, making sure that you are on brand with the client. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating our images, but we first need a hero. We kind of need somewhere, someone to follow, somewhere to follow. So let's kind of get a basis here. I'm gonna select Whisper Flow here. Based on this creative direction, give me an image prompt for an AI image generator that describes our hero. We're gonna select Run. Okay, so not only does it give me the prompt itself, it gives me a summary of what the prompt is. The prompt focuses on a uh, community vibe, the dad who is out in the world handling business and looking fresh while doing it. Uh, the prompt focuses on the design by dad's aspect, highlighting the fit of the hat and the bond of fatherhood without the background noise. So we get a bunch of different prompts here, as well as a good description of what each prompt uh, is giving. Okay, so our next step is we want to go ahead and go to Hicksfield.ai and what this does is it allows us to use uh, Nana Banana Pro and a bunch of different image generator models as well to be able to create our images uh, that we're going to get our prompts from from Gemini 3. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and upload my images so that way Nano Banana kind of has a reference point of what the hat is going to look like. I'm going to actually upload not only the front but I want to do the back as well as the side. I'm going to actually adjust my aspect ratio here. We're going to go to 16 by 9. So let's go back to Gemini 3 and let's go ahead and copy our prompt. I'm going to copy it here. And we are going to paste it right there. And we're going to go ahead and generate. We can create multiple versions of it. So we're going to just do at least two. I'm going to actually take my 
second prompt here and I'm going to create that as well. These are two optional prompts. So uh, based off of whatever we like best, whatever we like best, we're going to go with that. So we've created two different versions of our prompt and let's see what we what we come up with. Okay, perfect. So we have our two different versions. We have uh, four images in total, but we use two different prompts. So let's take a look at the first one. All right. So with this image, I love it because it definitely represents uh, fatherhood. Um, we got the information as far as the hat go there, but it's a little far for me. Um, but I do love the wide angle look. Same here. Details are fantastic. Uh, let's take a look at our second prompt. Uh, this definitely represents fatherhood as well. Even though the baby is kind of cut off uh, from the top, uh, we could probably fix that. But I really like that there's a very good close-up shot of the, the uh, dad wearing the hat. He's actually even interacting with it. And I think I like this even better because he is interacting with the child. And you could clearly see the hat right here. So I think we're going to go ahead and go with that one. Let's go ahead and click download. And again, this is going to be our hero prompt, which means this is going to be the basis of our entire ad. So our guy is going to look just like this. And it's going to have this type of aesthetic. OK, so we're going to go back into Google Studio. I'm going to upload the image that we just downloaded from Hicksfield. OK, so we've uploaded our image inside Google Gemini 3. So now we want to give it a little bit more details in regards to building out the rest of our ad. This is our hero character based on everything we discussed. Generate an image prompt for a mood board. Think like a creative director. Reference image, colors, textures, fonts. Also, come up with an image that does not include the baby, just the guy. And let's run it. All right, so let's go ahead and copy the prompt here. We're going to then paste it inside uh, Nano Banana here, or rather Hicksfield using the Nano Banana generator. And we are going to actually use our image that we downloaded here, because I want to make sure that we are all in sync. We're going to actually up that to four images. And I want to actually use my second prompt as well, just in case we might like this variation more. So let's take a look at our mood boards here. I really, really like this. It's very close up, gives the colors, gives even down to the pantones, to the details, all the way from the hat. Love it, love it, love it. So in the undecided in terms of which one I want, I think these are even great. I think the text is a little jacked up here. So let's go ahead and go towards, uh, let's, go with, let's go with this one. All right, so we're going to select download. And now we have everything we need to craft our story. So we're going to head back over to Google. We're going to upload our file here. This is our mood board. The reason why we provide mood boards is because we want the client to understand that we really get their brand and being able to see a mood board and the whole aesthetic really is impressive for clients. Now it's time to craft the story. Based on this campaign, create a seven shot story arc. Describe each shot as you would an image generator. All right, let's select run. And just like that, we have a seven shot campaign arc each prompt, each shot, and all we have to do is copy and paste each one inside Higgsfield Nano Banana, the same project that we've been working on. Let's go ahead and do the first shot here. And keep in mind, we have our hero shot, we have our mood board, and a detailed image of the, sh the hat, which is one of the most important aspects. And just for safety, I want to go ahead and um, upload the side of the hat as well. Let me see if I'm able to upload the backwards one as well. Yep, I'm able to upload the back as well. So there should be no reason why you can't get uh, an accurate representation of e each image. So this is our shot one. 
we are going to, I'm going to just limit this down to just one shot each. And I'm going to go inside Gemini 3 and actually copy and paste each shot. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is ask uh, Google AI to create prompts for each one of our videos. For each one of these shots, I want you to create a video prompt for an AI video creator, excuse me, generator. Keep it simple, describe the camera motion as well as the action. All right, so here are the images that we were able to generate. This is our opening image. One interacting with his kid, I love it. Walking down the street as many dads do. Love it. Him dapping up another dad. It looks like, you know, it kind of try to differentiate it. Seems like it might be the same person. I may or may not use that shot. I love this shot of the actual hat in the foreground and the family in the background. It really, in my opinion, really gets what the ad is trying to do. Like it, it really just conveys that type of emotion. I, I really enjoy it. Um, love this shot as well. Um, and this is our ending shot with the hat right there. So I'm digging all of these shots. One of the best things about using Hicks Field is you can actually generate the video right inside Hicks Field and we, we can pick the model of the video that we want as well. So we want to go ahead and go with uh, Clean. We're going to go with Clean 2.6. But don't forget, we asked Google AI Studio to create a, a video prompt for each uh, shot. So our first one is a photorealistic close-up reflection in a bathroom mirror. A handsome millennial man puts on a white trucker hat with red embroidery. He adjusts. So camera motion is slowly dolly towards the mirror. Okay, perfect. So we're going to use that video prompt and we're going to actually paste it here. So that way we have everything from the camera motion all the way to uh, describing the image. And we're going to go ahead and click select, excuse me, generate. And we're going to repeat that process with each image that we created. It can take some time, but trust me, it is worth it in the end. All right. So this is our second image. We're going to select video. It's going to bring us into our video generator here. We're going to just make sure our model is selected, which is clean 2.6. And we want to go ahead, delete the prompt that was there prior to, and we want to copy our prompt here. And we want to repeat that process with all seven shots or however many shots that you generate. I'm going to do the rest of that and I'll be right back. Okay, from here, Hicksfield allows you to download each image. You can also preview it before you download it, just in case you may want to regenerate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download each image and bring it into my editing software so that way we can bring the clips together. All right, so we have our clips in our editing software. I'm going to be using Final Cut here. Um, but of course, what is video without some really great audio. So let's go ahead and dive right into our web browser here. I want to ask Google AI Studio to create music for my ad. Can you create a Suno AI music prompt? Allow it to just be an instrumental that goes really well with this, with this campaign. I'm going to open Suno here. All right, so now we have three different prompts. I'm going to kind of skim through it here. I think I like the 90s boom bap, soulful jazz influence. So let's go ahead and copy that. We're going to create the, these super dope beats inside Suno AI. So we're going to go ahead and click paste here. I want to select instrumental and create. And what it's going to do is it's going to create me two different versions. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to actually put the other prompts in, listen to those just to see which one kind of gives the feel that I'm looking for. While that's happening, I'm going to go back into Google AI Studio and ask for it to give me a narration as well, because I want to be able to like narrate the story, tell the story. Can you provide narration that I can use in 11 labs 
and I want you to create timestamps for each video so that way everything just fits perfectly. Yeah, do that. <laughs> oh, uh, make sure that the narration doesn't last no longer than 15 seconds. Okay, so Google Studio created our narration, um, and you can see everything broken down from script to, to timeline to a description of each image, um, all the way down to our capping at our time of 15 seconds that we want to use. Uh, so this is a great tool to be able to really uh, put the finishing touches of narration on your advertisement. Okay, so from beginning to end, we started with the concept, we created mood boards, we created images, we created uh, video prompts for those images, uh, we created music, and we also was able to create narration. So let's see what the finished product is. Check it out. You look in the mirror and you don't just see yourself anymore. You see the one they look up to. It's about showing up through the noise, the chaos, and the sleepless nights, and loving every second of the grind. We don't wear this to hide the tired eyes. We wear it as a badge of honor for the best job we'll ever have. Dad gang.